Good afternoon lovelies, Namaskaram, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of the feelings I sometimes have here in India, especially when I see monkeys. Sun's just in my eyes a little bit there. So I left you in Paravur and now uh, you're back with me in Paravur. So I think it's time for me to head back to the Tuk Tuk to get onto the next town, which is Parapali, one of my favourite places. So I'll take you there with me. So Parapur is amazing. What I like about it is I can just clearly absorb the local life and the local living. Oh, not many tourists here at all. It's just full of locals, but I like that. In fact, I love that. So from the last vlog you saw, oh my goodness monkeys, I feel intimidated, I feel anxious, um, I feel terror. And now it's like, wow, I feel amazing and all excited. Because India can really bring out um, a polarity of emotions, an absolute sea of emotions. So anyways, I'm going to head back to my tuk-tuk and go to Parapali. so I had to ask someone where it was but the people here are just so so kind so anyways let me show you a bit of Pericoli battery is 53% so it probably won't be too much more filming unfortunately uh, but at least I can film a bit these Kerala lamps are so so beautiful beautiful Kerala lamps and this is a rice pot, so this is how they cook their Malayalam rice, their Kerala rice, in these rice pots. Did you know that they use 17 cups of water to 2 cups of rice for Kerala rice? For basmati rice, it's double. So basically, if you use 2 cups of rice, it's 4 cups of water. So you can see how much water they use in the Malayalam rice. So these pots, wow, they have to accommodate a lot of rice people. And the street food pali. So when people go to work, they can take their pali with them with their curry and parotta and japati. So this gentleman here, hello. Yes. He's making this. I'll just show you what's in his pot. Wow. Lovely. He's giving them a little bit of a really to film in the tuk-tuk so I like the temple here and I like cafe coffee but I'm not gonna stay too long because now 
uh, the tuk tuk driver's decided he wants to go home. Um, and I just can't be bothered with negotiating a price so I can get another tuk tuk after him. So that's sometimes what it's like here in India. But I've been here um, a long time, so I've kind of, I guess, developed the skills on how to manage these situations. <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, giant hands. Going to head back to the tuk tuk. Still debating about dinner actually. Um, because you know it's so cheap to eat out in India and I cook in my place but you know the meals are just the same price as if I eat out and I am tempted but then I probably could do with going to the toilet and there's no toilet here so I think maybe it's best to forget back and I have got food in I've got some fresh veg and stuff so maybe I'll just do my own tea tonight yeah I suppose hmm just thinking yeah, maybe that's like my only option because again, there's no toilets here. So yeah, hmm, that's what it is traveling around India. Not everywhere has toilets. So again, always keep your expectations low when traveling around India. So I've decided that the plan is to cook bucket bath and relax it was a long day out so fantastic day though i guess this actual particular vlog is going to be quite short once i've actually edited it because i actually did two vlogs in one day <laughs> so i guess it'll be two sort of like short vlogs which you know it's fine keeps you as interest going rather than doing a big vlog of about 30 40 minutes <laughs> Because that's almost like um, an episode of a soap opera. <laughs> Not that I'm saying my life's a soap opera or anything in India. <sighs> so it was an absolutely fantastic day. Loved every minute of it. So thank you very much for joining me. And journeying with the um, intimidating, horrifying monkeys. Although there was a part of me that was very excited and had a lot of love for them. Because... Just loved seeing them feed. Oh, they were actually really cute. Scary, but cute, if you get my drift. And then when I was telling you from one vlog into another vlog that, uh, yeah, I can actually feel quite terrified and intimidated in India, especially, you know, when you see monkeys. But at the same time, um, the people are just amazing. A lot of the people here are just amazing. And that really lifts your spirits. So again, I hope you really enjoyed journeying with me to the temple and the monkeys and the different cities. So yes, yeah, so I will end the vlog now. So thank you all very much for coming to join me. Shanti, 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 om namah shivaya, loka samastha sakino bhavandu. So if you like what you see and you see what you like, I would be ever so grateful if you subscribe to my channel. It will mean that you will never ever miss a single vlog because you'll always get notified about my vlogs if you subscribe. And the cost of subscription, nothing. So it basically is a free service from YouTube to notify you every time my vlogs come out. So in order to subscribe, all you need to do is click on my picture, which should now be on the bottom right hand side of your screen. So thank you all very much, lovelies. Kisses. Mwah. Have a wonderful evening and see you on the next vlog.